is this? What is that? What? What is that? What is that noise? What noise? Really, sir, there wasn't any noise. <laughs> that noise? Was that the noise you were talking about? No, it wasn't. That was not the noise I was talking about. Now, I may not have caught you in the act this time, but you can bet I will. <coughs> you make book on that, Missy. And you! I will not be made a fool of. Accident. You're an asshole. Sue me. Gordo? What? You get along with your parents? Well, if I say yes, I'm an idiot, right? You're an idiot anyway. But if you say you get along with your parents, well, you're a liar too. You know something, man? If we weren't in school right now, I'd waste you. Can you hear this? You want me to turn it up? Phyllis, I mean, I, I don't, I don't like my parents either. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't get along with them. I mean, their, their idea of, you know, parental compassion is just, you know, wacko, you know. Dora. Yeah. You are a parent's. Wet dream, okay? Well, that's the problem. Look, I could see you getting all bunged up for them making you wear these kind of clothes. But face it, you're a neo maxi zoom dweeby. What would you be doing if you weren't out making yourself a better citizen? Why do you have to insult everybody? I'm being honest, asshole. I would expect you to know the difference. Yeah, well, he's got a name. Yeah? Yeah. What's your name? Brian, see? My condolences. What's your name? What's yours? Claire. Claire? Claire, it's a family name. Oh, it's a fat girl's name. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm not fat. Well, not at present, but I could see you really pushing maximum density. You see, I'm not sure if you know this. But there are two kinds of fat people. There's fat people that were born to be fat, and there's fat people that were once thin, but they became fat. So when you look at them, you can sort of see that thin person inside. You see, you're going to get married, you're going to squeeze out a few puppies, and then... Uh... <laughs> oh, you've seen finger gestures from such a pristine girl. I'm not that pristine. Are you a virgin? I'll bet you a million dollars that you are. It is now 7.06. You have exactly eight hours and 54 minutes to think about why you're here. Ponder the error of your ways. And you may not talk. You will not move from these seats. And you will not sleep. All right, people, we're going to try something a little different today. We are going to write an essay of no less than a thousand words, describing to me who you think you are. This is this a test? And when I say essay, I mean essay. I do not mean a single word repeated a thousand times. Is that clear, Mr. Bender? Crystal. Good. Maybe you'll learn a little something about yourself. Maybe you'll even decide whether or not you care to return. Uh, yeah, you know, I can answer that right now, sir. You know, that'd be no, no for me, because... Sit down, Johnson. Thank you, sir. 
My office is right across that hall. Any monkey business is ill-advised. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? I'll give you the answer to that question, Mr. Bender, next Saturday. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. That man is a brownie hound. John? Uh, excuse me, fellas. I think we should just write our papers. Look, just because you live in here doesn't give you the right to be a pain in the ass, so knock it off! It's a free country. He's just doing it to get a rise out of you. Just ignore him. Sweet. You couldn't ignore me if you tried. So. So. Are you guys like boyfriend, girlfriend? Steady dates? Lovers? Come on, Sporto. Level with me. Do you slip her the hot beef injection? Go to hell! Enough! <laughs> hey! What's going on in there? What do you say we close that door? We can't have any kind of party. We're burning, checking us out every few seconds. Well, you know, the door's just supposed to stay open. So what? So why don't you just shut up? There's four other people in here, you know. God, you can count. See, I knew you had to be smart to be a, a wrestler. Who the hell are you to judge anybody anyway? Really? You know, Bender, you don't even count. I mean, if you disappear forever, it wouldn't make any difference. You may as well not even exist at this school. Well. Just run right out and join the wrestling team. <laughs> Maybe the prep club, too. Student council. No, they wouldn't take you. I'm hurt. You know why guys like you knock everything? Oh, this should be stunning. It's because you're afraid. Oh, God, you Richies are so smart. That's exactly why I'm not heavy in activities. You're a big coward. I'm in a math club. So you're afraid that they won't take you. You don't belong, so you just have to dump all over it. Well... Wouldn't have anything to do with you activities people being assholes now, would it? Well, you wouldn't know. You don't even know any of us. Well, I don't know any lepers either, but I'm not going to run out and join one of their fucking clubs. So let's watch the mouth, huh? I'm in a physics club, too. Excuse me a sec. What are you babbling about? Well, what I'd said was that I'm in a math club, uh, the Latin club, and the physics club. The physics club. Hey. Jerry. Do you belong to the physics club? That's an academic club. So? So academic clubs aren't the same as other kinds of clubs. Ah, but the dorks like him, they are. What do you guys do in your club? In physics, well, we, we, uh, we talk about physics, uh, properties of physics. So it's sort of social. Demented and sad, but social, right? Thank you.